Alright, alright, alright. Hello there, everybody. Just give me a minute here. There. There we go. Okay. Hey. Hopefully, uh... Everybody's enjoying, uh... Enjoyed their week so far, and, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's gotta wait. Um, but yeah. Um, hope, uh... Hopefully everybody's ready for the weekend. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I've been, uh... I've just been uh, leveling up Pictomancer off stream. I I actually really enjoy it. Um, I also uh, won't lie. I like uh, I like doing uh, I like uh, bonking people with the hammer. Um, but, uh, but yeah, otherwise uh, I think if I can catch up, I'll probably uh, I'll probably swap to Pictomancer for uh, the MSQ. Probably I think. Uh, but first off, most important thing before we get going on MSQ. Uh, uh, start. Uh... Oh, don't show me that one, two, three was on there. Yeah, not doing well today. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Um, I have to head back to. Oh. Gotta get back to totally all all of the other on the other continent there, so I do really like the, um, uh, what is it, the smudge trait that you get while leveling up, which means that, uh, after you, uh, after you use it, you get, uh, a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of movement speed afterwards. That's really good for getting, uh, for getting around. Okay. Don't know if this costs me anything. Travel to okay, perfect. Um, it's a bit of a walk, but I might uh, probably keep my uh, keep my stone there then for the time being. Okay, so I gotta go this way. Don do hunt. Okay. Uh, so, where am I? Yeah, here we are. Okay. Um. Route to Okanu. Uh, we go south through the Arch at Dawn, then follow the road which runs alongside the Kozama River. Is that right? That uh, is. Be warned, however, my brethren tell me the recent storm has rendered the path even muddier than usual. The footing is quite poor in some parts. Uh, far worse was the destruction visited upon our homes, though. Uh, houses were torn apart and several uh, people were injured, if not killed. Uh, our beloved festival is in danger of being called off this year. If you still plan on going, I'm going to urge you to proceed with caution. Okay. 
Uh, now I'm worried about the Hanu. Uh, it sounds like they were hit hard by that storm. Anyways, we're bound for head over to the Arch. Okay. Talk to you in good time, Master Merchant. Meanwhile. Oh, it sucks. I only have one movement ability now, and it's dash. Just gotta remember how to play Red Mage, because I haven't been... Oh, I am, like, nowhere near level 91. Never mind. Okay, I thought I was 91. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Ready to leave? I, I suppose so. Open the way. Okay. Off we go. Bent Cosa Mauka, the land of rainbow terraces. Okay. It commands the gaze of all who visit without fail. The many colored marvel. An endless torrent of water cascades over sheer cliffs to shape the wetlands below. To its relentless flow, all life must yield. Interesting, okay. Together with Wuklamat. We proceeded along the marshy trail, a road upon which the dawn servant and his comrades once traveled. It's pretty. I wonder where all that water comes from up there, if that's from rain or... or like mountain runoff or... Look at those falls. Even from this distance, you can feel the weight of that water. Yeah. The Isle of Palm was impressive, but as you can see, Tulihyola does not want for natural wonders. The ground is swampy, so watch your step. You wouldn't want to fall into a bog. I won't. I told you I've been here before. Come on. Okanu isn't much farther. Right, I'm glad those two get along. <laughs> Some pretty, uh, where are those tree small trees there? Uh, there is no stopping the third promise, is there? A good thing uh, she has Aranville to keep her from getting lost. Uh, for all this grumbling, uh, he's certainly there for her. Everyone should be uh, so lucky to have a loyal childhood friend. Or... Uh, right, let's get moving. Uh, if we continue along this road, we should find ourselves in the village before long. Uh... Good. Well, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna put these roads to work on the fancy motorcycle. Oh, new location. Everyone has arrived, and none the worse for wear, except for a certain third promise who slipped in the mud despite my explicit warning. What do you mean? It's just, like, it's straight. The road is straight. Hey, I asked you not to say anything. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Hanu Hanu village I was telling you about. Hanu, okay. Maybe three is now accessible, okay. Okay. Just talking about the festival, I th suppose. Okay. This seems okay. 
It's like our friend said, the people are in no mood for festivities. I can only assume uh, they're still recovering from the damage wrought by the storm. Indeed. Well, uh, let's do what we uh, came to do and find this elector. Oh. Pokali. Oh, what now? It's a Hanu greeting. Surely you heard it the last time you were here. Well, I was busy enjoying the festival. Uh, greetings to the Third Promise and her entourage. I, Zanu Holly, welcome you to Okano. Uh, as elder of my people, I shall be uh, fulfilling the duties of Elector during the Rite of Succession. Oh, okay. To give out the Elector was correct. Uh, we just do as Papa said and retrace his path from the saga. I'm ready. Uh, give me the feet and test my worth. All in good time, all in good time. In fact, I came uh, to let you know we are not quite ready to begin. For the moment, please enjoy the hospitality of our village. Poke around a bit then. Oh, should we poke around a bit then? We might find some clues about the feet. You know, prepare ourselves. It's surprisingly prudent of you. What? You think I'm being too cautious? No, no, I'm impressed is all. Uh, you admire and respect your father, who is uh, prone to decisive action, so I suspect... Oh, I suspected you to rush in first and ask questions later, or, or never. Oh! I do look up to Papa, but, uh, but you should know that he has a pragmatic side, too. Uh, the head of reason is the thinker who takes time to consider all the possibilities. Uh, with the long naps he takes these days, though... Uh, the head of resolve is less restrained by his wisdom. I can't fault you for thinking that's all there is to him, but there's more to the Dawn Servant uh, you've seen thus far. There's more to... I think it's supposed to be, but there's more to the Dawn Servant than you've seen thus far? Or, I'm not sure. I should like to speak with the head of reason one day. Ah, uh, well... I'm sure you'll catch him awake soon enough. Uh, to return to the subject at hand, you wish to take a look around Okanu then. Uh, do some groundwork before the feat begins. Something like that. I mean, I could probably pass this test with my eyes closed, but it'll keep us busy while we're waiting. We don't know what the test is. Uh, Wukulmat has the right of it. As Elder Zanu Hali is resident of the village, learning more can only improve our chances. I suggest the Division of Forces, for instance... Aaronvale, Alisay, and Kryal could concentrate on the southern half of the settlement. Uklamat, Zephyr, and myself will handle the north. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. I get to babysit Uklamat again. Okay. Ah. Everybody remember to stay hydrated. A gemstone trader. Uh, that's for baits, I think, right? Oh no, I have a bunch of them. Um, swamp monk thigh. Leg of a swamp monk. I don't know what that is, and I'm nervous to know. Hammerhead croc skin. Okay. So apparently these stones are the same ones from... Uh... Well, actually, I'm guessing those are from Shadowbringers, because I don't remember doing a lot of fates in, in Endwalker. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, go unlock this Aetherite, though. Okay, so obviously they had more of these built. Um, I know it's also for convenience, but... Oh, pardon me. Okay, some dispirited people here. Mender, Merchant. What's the Merchant sell? Uh, what weapons do you sell? Okay, just level... level 90 weapons. Okay. It's a vantage point. 
Right? Huh. You heard about the storm. I've never seen the likes of it before. Uh, with the supplies and the help... Oh, and help the Dawn Servant sent. We're making pro uh, progress repairing and rebuilding our homes. Uh, but while roofs and walls can be patched, there's so much else that was lost for good. Okay. Okay. What am I looking for? I'm surveying, but I'm not... Oh. Okay. I mean, there's... Yeah, there's the house there. But, you know, that can be rebuilt. Uh, the gaping hole in the wall and missing portion of the roof are clearly the work of the storm's powerful winds. Repairs seem to be ongoing. Okay. What else did they lose? Like, crops and stuff? Or... I mean, I said there might be... Yeah, a lot of houses are still damaged, and the Hanu uh, I've spoken to are not their usual cheery selves. That storm broke more than the wood and the reeds. Uh, there must be something I can do to help them. I'm going to look around a bit more. Yeah, see, this is what I'm curious about, where it's like, okay, are they missing supplies? Like, what is... Because they said they got help from the Dawn Servant already, but... Like, what did they... Uh... You know, I'm more curious about, like, if there was something specific they needed. Old reeds. Drying shrunken bundles suggest uh, the reeds were harvested some time ago. Okay, I'm gonna go around here. Hmm. Okay, where am I going here? Boat of Wolven Reeds. Oh! Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wolven from Reeds. Uh, the boat-like vessel is reminiscent of a bird. Uh, the beak and feathered tail particularly stand out. Okay. I wonder if there was supposed to be some sort of cast bar or something there. Uh, it's both mostly woven from the same reeds I've seen gathered into bundles here and there. The plants hold both practical and cultural significance to the Hanu. Then, oh. You hear me? I'm told they're ready to receive us now. Come to the large building in the south, or, south of the village. On my way. Okay. Want to hurry over? Okay. Oh, okay. I think it's pulling me there. I won't, uh, won't get mad about that. No sign of Zorolja or that oversized lout. They might have gone the other way. How much easier it would be if Sorolja were to fail here. But that isn't likely to happen. Honored guests, I am Zanu Hali, elder of the Hanu. Okay, so I think I got it close. I am also an elector, charged with judging which among you is worthy of ascending the throne. No pressure. Without further ado. Let us talk of the feet. Okay. Not so fast. Surely you couldn't begin without us. Oh, one of them is here. Okay. Eh, you made it after all. Yep. No need to fuss. There is no time limit for this challenge. Now, if you would allow me to proceed. It is here, in Okanu, where my people forged a bond with the Dawn Servant during our own chapter of the Tuli Yolal Saga. Uh -huh. 
In homage to those events, I have prepared for you the feet of reeds. Uh oh. Reeds seem to be of great importance to the Hanu. I wonder what this feat entails. We use reeds in every part of our lives, be it as food or weaving material. Okay. But look around the nearby patties, and you will see that this season, our crops are failing. Okay. How fortunate, then, that my appointment to Elector coincided with this predicament. Uh-oh. -uh. For surely, those who aspire to be dawn servant would find the matter of an ailing harvest a mere trifle to resolve. Huh. I well, it is indeed the duty of a ruler to address the people's woes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Do well in this, and you will earn my keystone. Why bother mucking about in the mud when we can take the stone by force? Uh, I don't think you can do that, buddy. Oh, mercy me. You are a hot headed fellow, Bakul Jaja. Some electors may enjoy going toe to toe with scrappers like you, but I refuse to entertain your base instincts. Oh, okay. Arrangements have been made. Should you attempt to engage a feat giver in combat without their consent, word of your immediate disqualification will be sent to the palace. If you're still feeling feisty, then by all means, draw your weapon. <laughs> this contest is presided over by cowards. There's no sport in fighting you. Then we can return to the business of earning my keystone. The feat of reeds is begun. Claimants, I wish you the best of luck. Okay. Huh. The clever kitty crossed the seas to study foreign novelties. He might know tricks we don't. Tricks we can use. What of little Miss Mittens? Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know the answer to that. Compared to the first and second promise, she's a distant third. Oh, not even in the running. I'm gonna need a senzu bean for that one. <laughs> then we see eye to eye on this brother. Being Bakul Jaja so long with me has rubbed off on you. <laughs> huh. These allies of hers, though, they might be a problem. You know, we're right here. We can hear you. Like... Just as qualified to be here as they are. I'll show them. Easy now. There's no time limit, remember? Let's keep calm and think things through. Mm -hmm. Right. You're right. I won't win against that lumbering vidrol by losing my head. Yep. Okay, so saying that, what do we do now? Hey, okay, we're to help solve their woes. I don't know the first thing about farming, uh, but if there's a way to save the harvest and help the Hanu, we're gonna have to find it. Pardon me. Uh, I'll make Bukul Jaja eat his words. Understanding the nature of the problem will be key to solving it. 
Uh, we need to examine the reeds themselves and then deduce the cause of the poor condition. Aaronville, you can take us to the fields uh, where the reeds are grown. Of course, follow me. Okay, yeah. Alphano, ever the, uh, you know, ever the smart one of the group. Okay. Let us mount up and let's just head over and see what we're working with. Okay. Uh, you can all stand back. I'll get to the bottom of this problem in no time. Oh, uh, right. Give me strength. Let's all of us scour the fields and help our bold leader identify anything unusual. Okay. Okay. Wilted read. Describe wilted and unhealthy. Is it the water? I'm not sure it's supposed to be this color. Or it contains no, no obvious contaminants and looks fresh and clear at cursory glance. Okay. Would expect rich in color, suitable, moist, not dry or flaky. Uh, okay, what did I miss over here? Thargic Frog. Hey, buddy. Small frog catches your eye. Strangely lackadaisical. It doesn't even bother to hop when it eventually... Uh, when it eventually scurries away. Huh. weird. I don't know what to... Unless the frog is it, but... Call everyone together, we can share our discoveries. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to say I'm drawing a blank in this one. Well, what do you think? Any obvious problems? Yeah, the only thing I saw was a frog, but I don't know if that's... I agree, the waters look to be in good quality, as does the mud in which the reeds have been planted. Uh, frogs and insects are unusually torpid. This suggests uh, the problem is affecting not only the reeds, but also the creatures which live among them. Something invisible to the naked eye would be polluting the water. Uh, we would need an alchemist to know for certain. Yeah, don't look at me. Uh, I don't have much to add about the fields, but something else occurs to me. Uh, when you were describing how the creatures seem lifeless, I couldn't help but, uh, be reminded of all the listless villagers. Uh, they suffer- they suffered a terrible tragedy, I know. Uh, there is another reason for their flagging spirits, I believe. It's raining, okay. <laughs> The festival. Uh, this is traditionally an occasion uh, for celebration and renewal, so without it, the honey were struggling to even even more to recover. Eh, I don't think that's it. Uh, last time I visited, the village was in the middle of of the festivities. Uh, you'll never see the honey honey more joyful and alive. Uh, it's an indispensable part of their culture, and its absence will only compound their woes. So I say we help uh, them put on their festival give them a reason to cheer here in these sad times who knows maybe fixing one problem could lead lead us to the solution to another um i don't know about that i think we gotta fix this is that so strange an idea i also failed to see the relation between the festival and the fields uh let's not be too hasty in dismissing the idea things which seem unrelated can later prove to be connected in surprising ways. Don't encourage her, Alphano. <laughs> uh, true, and being bereft of ideas as we are, any proposal is worth entertaining. 
I I suppose. Besides, Wukumat's journey, it's only right that we follow her lead. I dislike this. Uh, by the way, anyone know where the festival float is? A uh, boat woven from reeds that looks like a bird. Oh, we saw that. Going to the north, let's go and see it. Okay. Why is... Like, why is that important? There's much less debate when I'm traveling alone. You and me both, buddy. I also love the fact that, like, partway through this cutscene, it was like, RAIN! Okay. I don't care if this mucks with the fields, I'm getting on my motorbike. Ooh, you yub? Uh, I... I... I think. Pardon me. Um... All oh, right, it's over here. Okay. This is the float I remember. Hmm. Does it not appear somewhat damaged to you? We should take a closer look. Okay. Okay, I think it's missing a gem for the eye. Okay. One of the bird's eyes seems to be missing a gemstone. Oh shoot, there's two more? The hell else am I supposed to be looking at? Oh, that's definitely broken how they lift this great vessel without all the carrying poles intact. Okay. Um... Uh, these sail feathers seem better days. I saw the colors were a lot brighter last time I saw them. Okay. Again. This is, like, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad we're helping them with this. But, like, I don't think this solves their problem of, like, hey, our crops are failing. Right? Like. <laughs> Dire need a repair. Now, how do we go about fixing it? What's going on here? Admiring the festival float. Uh, Tis a shame it's in such a poor state due to the recent storm, I gather. Yes, we had to leave it exposed while we ushered our people to safety. Uh, with the float in this condition, there can be no lifting of wings. No. I, I, I'm not even going to bother. Um, that's the festival it was called. I want to help you hold it. Have you not seen our villages? Homes are ruined, we're struggling to make repairs, and you want us to hold a harvest festival. I know how it sounds, but giving in uh, giving into misery never improves anyone's situation. A celebration of life and growth uh, may help give you the strength to work through this tragedy. Uh, the role of festival leader is mine this year, and there's nothing I would like more than to lift everyone's spirits. Uh, but we don't even have enough materials to spare the float. Oh, to repair the float. We need... Abo kicks. We need Abo Kixia for the missing eye. Yipia wood to repair the poles and feathers from the winds chosen to adorn the tail. Two of those I know. Um, whatever that Abo, whatever it is, a type of precious stone used in arcane equipment. And Yipia wood is essential for crafting ceremonial instruments. The chosen feathers, however. Once chosen is the victor of a competition uh, in which the contestants see who can blow a feather <laughs> furthest using wind magics. Um, and that's something of a problem right now. We Hanu Hanu are gifted at employing such airy sorceries, but spend a great deal of mana when doing so. We are so exhausted by the effort and having no reeds to eat will only make it harder. 
think I understand. Your vibrant reeds go so quickly and vigorous, uh, so much so that they stifle the development of nearby plants. Uh, they must be a potent source of energy you naturally lack. They are indeed. Owing to the poor harvest this year, we've been left uh, enervated. And if we cannot uh, gather the correct materials as dictated by customs, we cannot repair the festival float. Huh. Oddly enough, we may have just stumbled upon our problem. Oh, upon our solution. Wind's chosen wood, by necessity, have a natural gift for manipulating magical energies, which means any feathers taken from the victors should be high in ether ethereal conductivity. The float's construction also requires a stone used uh, in arcane equipment, as well as timber favored for ceremonial tools. The demand for such specific materials must have an underlying reason. For smiting. I mean, it could be some sort of arcane device to help, like, precisely what I was thinking. Uh, this boat of reeds is, in fact, an arcane focus of some kind. A focus for what? It's a harvest festival, isn't it? I mean, the float uh, was made to encourage healthy crops. So if we repair the boat and hold the festival, its arcane power might fix what's wrong with the reeds. Maybe? Won't know until we try, but it's a sound theory. Celebration, prayer, and ritual ceremonies. Uh, these all have been known to elicit miraculous effects. Wait, wait, wait. The float is a tool for magic? This is the first time I'm hearing of it. Uh, in the beginning, it may, it may well not have been. After a good har harvest year, there would be no reason to change it. Uh... But when the harvest was poor, new adornments uh, were likely added, and those who performed the labor may have imbued their work with ardent hopes for a brighter future. Through years of trial and error, the honey would have refined their festival float into a focus for harvest prayers. Okay. But reviving Hana, um really does sound like a solution to all your rows, and I promise we'll do everything in our power to help you. Still not convinced about this focus business, but I'll, but I accept your aid nonetheless. I will introduce you to the shipwright, uh, who's been maintaining the float these last few years. Uh, he, uh, he's replaced both eyes and the poles before, so he should know where and how to procure what you need. Um, and allow Alize and I to acquire the feathers. We will, uh, we will encourage, uh, the people of Okanu to gather and vie for the title of winds chosen by sharing with them uh, our own reserves of mana. I'll go with you. I carry some alchemical brews that may afford the same effect. Okay. Yeah. Bye, guys. Uh, three of us will visit the ship right then. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, not without me. I've Worked hard to fix the float as best I can, and responsibility's mine. Not introduced myself, have I? Uh, my name is uh, Linu Hanu. Okay, nice to meet you. Certainly, let's all get along. Okay, oh, trial. You. Okay, got shoes. Hey. Okay. Bright's name is Evu. She's a Axel, uh, who only moved to uh, Kazama a few years ago, but has since mastered our customs to an almost frightening degree, especially strict when it comes to manners. So make sure you offer him a proper honey greeting. We wouldn't want him. Uh, we wouldn't want to offend him right before asking him a favor. A proper honey greeting. Oh, that one. Don't worry. I remember how it goes. Shouldn't be any problems. Great. Uh, well, where the hell am I going? Okay. And away we go. Well, I guess the expansion did come out at the beginning of la the beginning of the month, so yeah, some people can fly already. I guess that makes sense.
Okay. It rains a lot here. Look back B, the village of all. Uh, those who drift into Kazama from Tuliola and elsewhere are welcome to live here alongside the Hanu. Okay. Or Wukavu who lives and works in the wa uh, House of Waters High. Uh, top of the large tree. Oh, at the top of that large tree nearby. Follow me, I should warn you. Climb up the stairs can be challenging. Wait, really? Okay, so it lives up here. Oh, it's, they say it could be challenging because it's just a lot of stairs. Holy, yeah, geez. Okay. Hey, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Good. You brought your manners with you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when in Ukano, do as the Hanu do. For a country as diverse as ours, the preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples. Who call it home. Okay. Well, that explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. And you speak truth, of course. To live together means to learn about each other. Ah, I appreciate an open mind. In fact, I get the sense we've met before. Uh-oh. -uh. You! You're Wuklamat! Oh, what an unexpected honor for old Wukavu. Here I am prattling on about manners, and I've gone and insulted the third promise herself. There is no excuse for this betrayal of etiquette. <laughs> Please, take up your axe and claim my impudent head! I will not. Keep your head. <laughs> I hate formalities anyway, so forget about it, all right? All right, then. Consider it forgotten. Well, that was fast. <laughs> How prompt. Yep. <laughs> We're actually here about the Ihihana float. It's in bad shape, and we need you to craft new carrying poles and a new eye. I'm told you work with Uyuipo wood and a certain kind of stone, uh, Abokisha? Yeah, those ones. Don't make yeah, me say them. But while I would like nothing more than to offer my services, I just used the last I had of both those materials. My lumber in particular went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. I can't wait that long. If you tell me where to go, I'll gather them myself. What? Send the third promise out on an errand like some common lackey? That's utterly unconscionable. A gross violation of social protocol. Oh my god, this dude is a nervous wreck. I love him. <laughs> I told you not to worry about such things. All right then. I shan't worry a whit. Huh. 
I'm getting whiplash from this uh, this back and forth here. What's with your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season, and have come along to oversee the float's repair. As strange as it may sound, Wuklamat and her friends believe the float is an arcane focus, meant to encourage the growth of our struggling reeds. Hmm. Too many Hanu have forgotten, it seems. But that is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wheels. Your education is impressive, Throat Promise. Well, maybe a little. Allow me to show you where to procure Uyuipo. We can leave the Abokisha to your friends, I presume? Take yourself to Cave Kikitola, or thereabouts, and you should find the stones you need. Cool. I've been there once or twice. I can guide you. Thank you. That should save us some time. All right, then. Let's get moving. Okay, I was supposed to say, whose lackey was that? Oh, his. Okay. Chosen one. One of your rivals is making progress. Iana, you say? <laughs> Should our first choice fail to deliver, it might be wise to let this play out. <laughs> the third-rate promise is making herself useful after all. Okay. Still don't know where um Tankard and Orianger are though. I haven't you know, haven't seen them turn up yet. But I have a feeling they're helping uh Kona. Gave us to the west, we can turn to the village first, then head there on foot. Short drive, I guess. I think it's off this way. Yeah. Little ninety striking dummies. Okay, it's nice to have. Hey there. Southwest of here was it? Let's be on our way. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna keep running from the rhino beetle because. The individual XP from killing most things is just not worth the time. Um, okay. Avis Promised, home to many deadly creatures. Uh, a green glimmering hue. Okay. Help scour the cave inside. You'll take the west half, I'll take the east. Okay.
Hey, didn't see anything angry yet. Oh, okay. I do need that, though. I mean, actually, who am I kidding? No, I don't. I didn't bother getting any of them in the, uh, didn't bother getting any of them for, uh, uh, for Endwalker. I don't think I'm starting now with these ones. Yeah. I hate to break it to all of you who were, uh, you know, expecting that to change, but that, this old dog ain't changing that trick. Nothing what about that. Along with Kyle's contribution, more than enough for our needs. Shine brightly, thank you. Okay. Uh, he would have been happy to know we were putting things right. Truth be told, a good friend of mine was meant to be festival leader before this year's. I think it's E.E. E. Hana. When the big storm hit, he didn't survive. It felt to me to carry on in his stead. That's why you agreed to Wicklemont's request despite your initial reluctance. Ah, okay. Yes, uh, it hurt to hear, but she was right. Uh, though I must mourn, I cannot let my grief consume me. Uh, her words made me realize that the path to my recovery, our recovery, is already laid out before me. And I will walk it for myself and for my friend. There we go. Hey, the sun even came out. It's like a Kodak moment. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story with us. Pardon me. Uh, please rest assured. Uh, we've taken your plate to heart. I'm certain our companions are hearing the other materials as we speak. Everything will come together in the Hanu. Shall host a splendid, uplifting festival. That we shall. With that, let us return and deliver the... Uh, Minerals to Wukevu's waiting hands. Okay. Okay. Let's head back this way, see if I can... Try not to aggro some angry beetles on the way, but... Okay. Oh, I am, uh... Turtle! <laughs> Ah! Angry turtle. <laughs> Alright, someone else gathering some wood. Back up to the top we go. Nope. Or that. May as well do this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, like I said, to be honest, I, uh, you know, I don't, uh, don't physically believe that I'm going to get all of them, but whatever. I'll get the ones they see. The ones I don't, eh, whatever. Hey, hey buddy. I'm glad your, your treehouse, uh, you know, supports vehicles. Uh, through Promise and Her Mighty Swings, we've collected some suitable logs. There you go. Brought you the shiny rock. I hope it's the right one because I am not a geologist. Excellent samples, good quantity at this stage. 
Um, you've likely surmised that the lifting of wings encourages crops to grow, but not exactly how, eh? Uh, well, you're in for a treat. If all goes to plan, the results should be spectacular. Okay. Uh, let's get to work crafting these pieces for the float. You could use an assistant versus in arcane arts to certainly conductivity. Okay, good. I'll be delighted to help. I was about to say good, because, you know, I'm good at I'm good at hurting things with magic, but uh, everyone else should head back to Akane. We'll join you once the float... Oh, at the float once the work is complete. Okay. Alright. I couldn't teleport, but save a little bit of money. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm just hoping that, uh, you know, I do always try and stay rested, but I'm hoping my rested XP isn't going to run out soon. Because I have been uh, pretty furiously leveling, uh, gathering, the tr gathering the wood was a trial in and of itself. First, Wokebu criticized everything I did, and then he suddenly yelled, I've spoken ill of the third promise and must be pun and must punish myself, and proceeded to slam his head into an upio tree. Um, not to worry about it again. And then it was like snuffing out a candle. He's an odd one, that's for sure. Uh, at least we've seen to the poles and new eyes, just away for the feathers from the twins. Okay. Oh, you're giving me paint. I don't like that. I sell die. <laughs> Uh, rest before the excitement begins, okay. It's not the third promise, from our true she's trying to complete the feat of reeds by reviving E. Hana. Festival is a prayer for healthy crops. Uh, but does she honestly believe that will be enough to save our harvest? Second promise, meanwhile, barely glanced at the fields before leaving Okan Okane altogether. Uh, maybe we've asked too much of our young claimants. I'm going to be too quick to count Kona out. A friend of mine overheard him muttering by the reed something about what needs to be done. Is that so? Perhaps we'll get to see another of his innovations firsthand. Oh, is he going to try and build some sort of, like, etherical machine? That sounds like Arcona. One look at the reeds uh, was all he needed to think up a solution. Be that as it may, our own solution is nearly ready. Indeed, as soon as the others are back, our long-awaited festival can begin. Okay, which one of them gets jumped by, uh, I'm doing, but we managed to gather competitors to vie for the title of wins chosen. Mother was, was only too happy to donate his feathers. Should have seen it. He called forth an incredible gust that sent his feathers sailing for malms. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, we had to turn ourselves, but it's more difficult than it looks. Poor Aaron Bills twirled in the air for a moment before landing on his foot. Oh, jeez. I'm a gleaner. Magic is not part of our training. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, brought the wooden gemstone uh, replacements to be crafted. Okay, all that's left is to attach them. Decided who will ride the float. Uh, Papa was the guest of honor last time I was here. I remember uh, being surprised they could even uh, lift the thing with his hulking weight on top of it. Uh, the rider must be a personage of great esteem. <laughs> Uh, which is why an invitation is usually extended to the Dawn Servant. This time, however, I have another in mind. Oh, who is it? Okay. Our beloved Ihana, the lifting of wings is only being held because you and your because of you and your companions. 
Uh, thus I do nominate you, Whiplamot, as our guest of honor. Huh? Me? <laughs> <laughs> this boat won't make me seasick, will it? <laughs> I I don't think so. And way anchor, I can hardly refuse a request from uh from one even more enthusiastic about the festival than me. I'd be delighted to ride your float. Thank you, Uplamot. Okay. Uh rolls for the rest of you as well. We'll carry the festival float. Uh, and the slow procession towards Kozanu, something or other, uh, <laughs> where uh, the sacred likeness of Hixahihi, Hixahihi, uh, is ensconced. Uh, what I'd like you to do is clear the path of dangerous wildlife so that the procession can move along unimpeded. Consider it done. Expect me to sit still until whoever has finished the float. Uh, let me come along and help with the clearing. As you know, I'm not much for fighting. I'll stay behind and assist Wikevu with the repairs. Uh, if you aren't sure where you need to go, the path I sp uh, spoke of begins at the south of the village and goes east. Across the stride of the sun, see the clearing it. Okay. Oh no, I have to actually red mage chat. <laughs> Yes, I'm scared too. Uh, okay. Uh, here. Here? Here. Anu said, should be down this way, then off to the east when the path branches. Something about bridges... And stride of the sun. Split up, get the work done. Once you've called all the threats you can find, meet up in front of whatever. Okay. Okay. Nice little two cans. Okay, so what's gonna jump me? And how badly am I gonna fail at killing it? Stink shell? Okay, that wasn't that bad. Hey, hey, I discovered a new location. Hey, I'm almost to the point where I don't need to uh, change my stream title. Okay. Alright, what's going to jump me next? Okay. And, oh, hey, another new location. And probably another one right up here. Okay, cool. Okay, it's a type of Marlboro, I think. Not think about that too hard. Okay, half and killed some frogs. Okay. Oops. 
There we go. It's probably the last one. I also realized I should probably shrink my, uh... Whatever down, change my, uh... Change my, uh, or, uh, my UI around a little bit so that I don't, uh, take up quite as much screen real estate, but, oh well. You were a step ahead of us. This must be the likeness of... I'm gonna wait for someone to tell me how to pronounce that. Uh, the Hanu Hanu Deity of the Harvest. I was half expecting a flying whale. <laughs> yep. Oh, that, huh? A whale? Why a whale of all things? Ah. Here was worshipped. Uh, it's said that, uh, uh, Kixa was worshipped on another continent. This ancient faith uh, was then brought to uh, Tural by the first Hanu. Hanu. Uh, the Hanu migrated here from another continent, and mayhap the two do share a common ancestor. Hmm. This is all very fascinating, but shouldn't we be getting, be getting back to Linu Hanu? Uh, he'll want to know the path is safe for the procession. Right, and I need to ride the float. I'll run ahead and tell him we're done here. Hmm. Okay, I'm waiting for this to go wrong somehow. Okay, there we go. Meanwhile in Ukanu. Okay. <laughs> Not sure we heard you right, old man. Why don't you say that again? As many times as you'd like. The third promise tasked me with repairing this float, and I'll not relinquish it to an uncultured brute like you. Uh oh. Much less one that can't even manage a simple greeting. We wanted to handle this in a civilized way, but we're more than willing to. <laughs> Kill you. Okay. We have a two headed problem. Yes, please hurry. <laughs> She's on her way back already. Stand back, Wukevu. I will protect the float. <laughs> Are you trying to be brave, little bird? Well, this guy's not gonna last long in this challenge. I could never have repaired the float alone. Not properly. But thanks to Wuklamat and her friends, we can hold Ihihana again. This is a priceless treasure. And as festival leader, I would die to protect it. Uh, very well. If that's what you want. I put everything into that blow. Good. The better for you to understand that gulf between us. But you need more lessons. We'll carve them into your mangy hide until you cry and beg forgiveness. Jeez.
Your brilliant plan was to steal the float and take the credit. The so-called blessed siblings are nothing but cheats. Yeah. <laughs> Your scorn is sweet music. Come, weaklings. We'll crush you each in turn. Or all together, if you like. Calm yourself, chosen one. If you fight in earnest, this will end in a massacre. What's more, we have word that our other prospect is on the verge of success. Hmm. Then it would be foolish to expand the effort, sweating nuts. <laughs> Lucky for you. Eh. I see Mamuk still clings to that loathsome hope. Mamuk. Talk to us, Third Promise. You're not dying, are you? I don't think she got hurt. <laughs> It'll take more than that to kill me. So, are we having this festival or not? Yes, we are. I don't I don't like that smile. <laughs> it's almost creepy. Right. Okay, thank you for coming to our rescue. Hey. Pumpkin orange, ocho green, celeste green. I don't have any ocho green. Let's take that. Knowing the Hanu Hanu. Okay. Setting into Ludover, you'll be pleased to know that my repairs are finished. Pardon me. Uh, before I commence with the festival, however, it would be a courtesy to inform the villagers that E. Hana will be held after all. Uh, go forth, but do not forget your greetings. Uh, at this stage, I should hope the reminder is unnecessary. All I see, I remember. Okay. Oh, I have to type. Oh, Kali, okay. Greet the villagers. Okay, that's annoying. Um... That's a cool looking sword and shield, though. Okay. Second here. Okay. Hi. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Very much like to attend the festival. The repair should be finished as soon as possible. What to do, what to do. Perfect. Okay. Festival's about to begin. What do you expect me to say? Besides, of course I'll be there. Cleaning up the storm's aftermath may have been hard on us all, uh, but the lifting of wings is tradition and a joyous one at that. I won't sit here brooding my days away. Give me a moment to get ready. Okay. I'm guessing that uh, this one's going to be 
probably a little more, uh, uh, am I close enough? There we go. Hi. Golly. But the float is fixed. Our fallen friends be glad to know that Ihana will soon be underway. Uh, they would have wanted us to honor them with celebration, uh, not let their loss deter us from it. Let's go and enjoy the festival. Okay. Wasn't the reaction I thought, but I guess we had one uh, kind of neutral-ish negative. I don't need to hire an alpaca keeper, but I just figured I may as well get it while I'm right there. Okay. There you go, buddy. At least there's festivals going ahead, I imagine. Pretty much. That as well, once your friends return, lifting and wings can begin. Okay. Yeah, all three villagers. Okay. So few have come. Patience. Once Ihihana gets underway, no Hanu will be able to resist joining in. Oh, that's fair. Just so. Ukewu knows well the heart of the Hanu. Interesting. Third promise. And climb aboard the float. It is time for the lifting of wings. Right. Off we go. Ikihana is a prayer for bountiful harvest, but this is not its only meaning. Okay. It is also an exchange of pledges between rider and bearers, a commitment to a long and fruitful friendship. Oh. Listen well, friends. The personage we bear today is Wuklamat, the savior of our beloved festival. Okay. Let your shoulders burn or your feathers fall out, but do not even think of dropping her. Oh, they're going to carry that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, you better warm up there, bud. <laughs> Ready and... Oh, dear. I could get used to this. Oh, jeez. Belly, stop you from joining in the fun. Come and help us carry the float. There we go. Well, well, well. To see the day that Don's promise would ride our boat again. <laughs> We've not had the honor since you were here, Gulul Jaja. Okay. Right. We've enough bearers now. Onwards to Kozanuaki! Oh, jeez. How far are they going with this boat? <laughs> oh, right. They're taking it. Yeah, they took it far. Oh, right. They're taking it to the statue. I forgot. I mean, I only literally just got back here. Watch well, for you are about to bear witness to the true glory of Ihihana. Okay.
float draws upon our life force, concentrating and amplifying the energy. I need that though. <laughs> Kishaihi then receives that energy and expels it in a great burst, where it showers down upon the land to replenish its vital currents. Okay. Okay, so that's going to perk up. Okay, yeah. Okay, but what was the other solution they were talking about? Well, that was fast, okay. <laughs> Dang. It worked. I mean, yeah. Like a literal charm. Oddly. The float really was helping the reeds. Huh. That was amazing. To think that such a thing was even possible. Huh. Okay. And now I'm confused about what the other... You know, what the other prospect was. Should I have left the float behind like that? I was so excited to see the reeds. Uh, nothing to worry yourself over. Over my brethren have uh, have been swept up by festival fever. Last I saw, they were taking turns at uh, the carrying poles on the way back to the village. Uh, feel free to overlook the fields and enjoy the sight of what you've accomplished. Okay. still look a bit sickly oh. I imagine even the harvest magic has its limits if the Hanu continue their festival tradition year after year though the entire field should eventually recover where does that leave us with the feet then you've got nothing to fear on that account our situation could never have resolved itself the revival of even a single reed would have served to demonstrate your commitment to the task. Oh, okay. That you recognize the nature of the float and found a near perfect solution in Ihihana proves your dedication. Oh, what's more, okay. I don't think I've seen the festival produce such impressive results since I was a mere chirper. Oh, like a kid, okay. <sighs> We have been lax in maintaining the float, diluting its magic, and reducing Ihihana to hollow theater. Oh. Kona! I was delayed by an unpleasant encounter, but it seems I arrived at a good time. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I, I, I was kind of guessing if the equivalent of almost like a mana potion or something would do, uh... Oh, isn't that wonderful? What? You just pour in some mystery liquid and problem solved? Stagnant ether was to blame for the reed's poor condition. 
I assume that was an alchemical concoction which enhances ethereal conductivity. It utilized the flowing water as an ethereal current, thereby promoting the transfer of life energies. Okay. A method I could not have devised without the education I received at the Studium and the cooperation of my Arkham allies. Archon allies. There we go. I knew it. You see, Lamachi, this is why we need to embrace foreign knowledge and technology. Uh oh. Employed appropriately, they make light work of what would otherwise be arduous labor. There's no need to lug around heavy floats. Yeah, that's tradition, though. Well. You always were the clever one, brother. Hmm. Your approach was no less effective, Wuklamart. It achieved the same result. Indeed it did. And you enjoyed the festival, yes? I did. It was so much fun. Having visited your village before, I thought I knew everything about it. As it turns out, I knew very little about the reeds, about Ichihana. Mm -hmm. With all I've learned this time, I feel as though I've really come to know the Hanu. And I like you even more now than I did before. Interesting. The feeling is mutual. And it's not just you who had a lot to learn either. I'll never look at our float the same way again. The two of you have exceeded expectations. Come forth and claim your stones. Okay, but where was, um... Yeah. Where was the first promise, though? Because I haven't seen him at all, so... So this is what they look like. Hmm. Go on, set it in the tablet. <laughs> A perfect fit. That leaves six more. And on to the next. Not even a moment of celebration. That's gonna for you. A third promise? You must join us for Ikihana next season. As Dawn Servant, of course. Huh. Right. It's back to Tulihola for now. Oh, that was... okay. Thank you for having us. I look forward to seeing you all again. Oh. Okay. That was it. Okay. Huh. Thought there was a lot more to this zone. Okay. <laughs> These are interesting times indeed. The concoction was brewed by Kona himself. It's a test vial. But it should contain the same reagents. Good work. We'll use whatever we must to win. For win we must. Okay. But like I said, I still haven't seen... Uh, first promise, the other, sort of, the other brother yet. Uh, already started, met so many wonderful people, Wukevu for one, bit eccentric. Uh, but everyone could stand to be as respectful of other cultures as he is. And Linu Hanu, it warmed my heart to see him honor his departed friend through Yi Hana. Oh, and to help others do the same. Can't help but feel excited, thinking, uh, who else I might meet over the course of the contest. Come, let's head back to... I'm not even gonna... <laughs>
Okay. Just gonna teleport. And we're back over here. Okay, cool. Took that founder elector first keystone. Come on, let's keep moving. Find an elector there as well before we do anything however we should see uh, what your opportun opportunistic Pelu friend has to say okay okay so this wasn't much of a choice then because it's like this is really short uh, feels like days I've eaten enough pork you tacos to feed an army would you like confirming the state of the road ahead as I recall to reach Chapacha Far from the Arch of Dawn, take the road west at the first fork. Where you have anything along the way. Uh, after the damage dropped by the recent downpour, however, you'll be doing more stumbling than walking. But do take heart, it comes to rugged terrain. Most dependable solution available, come with me. Oh, okay. Oh, the alpaca stables. Oh, good god. Okay, I will talk to this alpaca keeper as well. Okay. I think here's where we get to figure out why they call them little demons. Okay. Uh huh. Most dependable companion, the alpaca. Animals can traverse uh, steep mountain trails as if they were gentle fields, all the while carrying heavy loads. Our merchants would be lost without them. Okay. Feel much the same niche as our chuckabos back home. But you have alpacas in Eorzea. Alpacas are neighbor, uh, native to Yuktoral. Eorzea has its chuckabos, and the eastern lands have their horses. Uh, why go to the trouble of breeding another pack beast uh, in a place that's ill-suited to its qualities? Uh, when there's not, uh, when there's already one anyway. Hmm. But must we ride these little monsters? I get the impression you aren't fond of alpacas. When I was small and being a bit naughty, I went around pulling on their wool. One of them spat on me and it was the foulest stench you can imagine. Ha <laughs> ha, I see. What do they like to ride? Alpacas, uh, bred as mounts are... The inquisitive and docile, even those without experience, uh, find them easy to handle. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're really doing this then? Okay, I think, yeah, she's having a great time. Is my information useful to you? I yes, very helpful, even if it wasn't what I wanted to hear. Good, I'll take my payment now. Want me to pay you? Hey, guess I should have expected as much from a Pelu merchant. Uh, let me see what I have on me. The Pelu Pelu value the act of spreading joy through trade, as you should know. They take pride in making uh, deals that benefit both parties. Okay, but... Uh, fair price for your fair advice. Yes, I made a trade with the Third Promise herself. My friends will never believe this. Should be on my way now. I wish you safe travels. Off you go then. 
Okay. I better not get spit on again. You brought that on yourself. Remain calm and gentle and so will they. <laughs> uh, still not happy about this. If we need to ride alpacas to reach uh, the village, then that's what we'll do. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, this is a lot more mountainous. To rally poets of your sang of a mountain that would stand tall, even should all other lands sink beneath the sea. Indomitable and eternal, it arises from Urko Pacha, the hundred peaks of time. Huh. Of all the beasts which crawl and fly, only the legendary Valikarmanda could hope to disturb the summit's serene majesty. Yet, with that flying calamity imprisoned by the Dawn Serpent, what great feat remains for those who would claim the throne? It reminds me a bit of the, um... What is it? The Azim Step, I think. That and, uh, I'm pretty sure this is, you know, this is, uh, inspired by, uh, mountains of, uh, regions like Peru and, uh, Chile, probably. So this is Urko Pacha. Maybe. I've never actually been here before. Oh. Huh? <sighs> the air is so crisp and clear. Mountains everywhere you look. Oh. That one massive peak in particular has quite the presence. It puts me in mind of some all. That's true, too. That is Warkor Sormor, the tallest mountain in Yoktura. Its sheer height makes it an imposing climb. But there are other reasons the ambitious keep their distance. Oh? Do tell. Yeah. <sighs> Where to begin? Excuse me, but you're Wuk Lamat, are you not? I, I hadn't thought to encounter one of the Dawn's promise here of all places. Okay. Uh, but, but I should introduce myself. I am Bol Nok, a weaver by trade. Okay. Hi. Well met, Bol Nok. We're on our way to Watrun Pelo. Uh, truly. <laughs> I've just come from there, as it happens. Okay. I'd ask the Pelu Pelu who sell me their wool to give me a tour of their alpaca ranch. The head rancher and I shared a bottle of mezcal while he explained the finer points of wool production. Okay. Mezcal? Is that a local beverage? It's an Urko Pacha specialty. A spirit made from distilled agave heart juice. Uh-oh. Yes, and it must have done wonders for my mood, for I tripled my usual order of alpaca wool. Uh, they did offer me a discount, though, so it wasn't a bad deal in the end. <laughs> ah, but listen to me, boring you with my tedious stories. I, I will leave you before you are lulled to sleep. Uh, goodbye, and safe travels. Okay. Oh. Oh, silly me. I almost forgot to say the thing I actually wanted to say. Okay. Peace for Tural. I agree with your vision, Third Promise. You have my support in your bid for the throne. Okay. I mean, that's three people. You know, three-ish people, I think. I gather from his tale we would be foolish to underestimate Pelu Pelu merchants. I just hope they don't meet a Stinian. <laughs> do more than run the markets in Tuliola. Pelu Pelu peddlers can be found everywhere in Tural, traveling from place to place on their sturdy alpacas. Okay. They are effusive and engaging speakers, and many is the customer who's been talked into spending more than they bargained for. 
They won't find this customer so easily charmed. Watch on Pelos down the path. Off the main road. Don't get lost. It's right there. Hey, how long before, uh, you know, how long before she has to sell her boots? Because <laughs> by the sounds of it, I think they'd like the Ferengi. Okay, more importantly, I'm gonna go get this right now. Now I'm gonna go back to talk to Aaronville. All right, I don't have any uh, movement in me. Okay. Watching Pelo, home of the Pelo Pelo. Wuklamot should be arrived. Should have arrived before us. That's not good. Yeah, that's what I thought. Exchanging words with the future Dawn servant. Please, the outcome is far from decided. It's but a possibility. Fortunate then, ideal in cloaks woven from specially luxurious alpaca wool. Such a garment would look magnificent when draped over the shoulders of her budding ruler. First ruler should dress her best uh, for her adoring people, yes. Fineries. Oh, finery for our finest lady. That's right, come third promise. My well stocked shelves are but a few steps away. I like the sound of that. Quick look wouldn't... Ahem, what were we just talking about? Phil, when did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> A Shatona from far off. A Zoctoral. Uh, Northern winters are bitter cold affairs, I'm told. I cannot imagine how you survive them without a lovely warm... A quality alpaca will no thank you i'm not in need of new clothes at the moment and neither is third promise perhaps another time first of course my shop door is always open oh <laughs> saying something about not being easily charmed i was just uh <laughs> As mentioned previously, the Pelo people live for bringing happiness through trade. They won't cheat you or sell you defective goods. They will, however, disarm you with their deft turns of phrase, and unwitting customers like Wuklama fall prey to this uh, affable approach time and again. Uh, your only recourse is a clear and firm refusal. They won't pursue the matter should you make your disinterest plain. Okay. A valuable insight to the minds of the Pelu Pelu. Let us all take Aaron Mill's words of caution to heart. Okay, I don't have that much money, so yeah, I can't be uh, shelling out all the monies. Okay. Okay, now my finest moment, I'll admit. Uh, now that we're here, let's do what we came to do. Find the Elector. Let me to propose a strategy then. Kryl, I'll say, and I uh, will speak with the merchants. We'll come at you and Erinville uh, might try approaching travelers and passers-by. Okay. Uh, pray investigate any of the other establishments which catch your eye. Uh, should we learn odd of use, let us relay it to the Third Promise. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I am going to... Uh, let me do it after stream. I'm gonna play around with my, uh, my overlay, I think. Ooh, somebody found another bicycle. Alright. Thought you were new in town, here for the right of succession, I take it. Me, I don't much care who sits on the throne as long as they keep Tural peaceful. Uh, people tend not to be in the mood to relax and sip our excellent 
uh, Mezcal once arrows and spears start flying, you know what I mean? Speaking of which, would you like a cup? Nah, I'm good. You were asking about elector business. Being a freshly returned from trading routes, I've heard is a contest afoot, but not much else. Head Ledger. Tobley could probably tell you more about it. Okay. Oh, that's... That's the, um... Uh, that's some Shadowbringers, I think. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I... It's, uh... I think it's this. I don't know if it's Shadow Hunter. I don't. I don't remember what it's called. But it's one of the bosses, I think. I don't need an alpaca, thank you. I'm just unlocking those because they're easy. Hey, buddy. Heard all about the right of succession. New ruler on the throne. Personally, I'm rooting for Zoralja. First promise wins. Uh, He'll look to expand our sphere of influence. That means access to more resources and more customers in the thousands column, potentially. Uh, so many new trading opportunities to spread happiness far and wide. Uh, this has been coming around to my way of thinking, so I've begun crafting goods aspire oh, inspired by the resilient sun. Do you care to purchase something? No. <laughs> no, but the elector, I could help you, but I won't. I can tell you you're not supporters of whoever his policies. Okay, well. Okay, where am I? Okay, this way. Question for me. Okay. Don't know about any electors. You should take a moment to see our prize to pack us before you leave. Uh, happened to a visiting buyer not long ago. Uh, Tobley. His head rancher was uh, mad at me for not giving proper warning. Saw Tobley noticing he knows everything. Okay. So I'm guessing we need to talk to Tobley. Is, uh... The, uh, the feeling I'm getting, anyway. Watch yourself around these silver-tongued peddlers. I almost bought a bottle of mezcal uh, and a stack of blankets, and then there was this enchanting ornament. Anyways, I managed to learn that Tobley is the man, uh... Uh, to talk to about the contest. Now, if only they'd share where this head ledger of theirs is to be found. I think it's at the ranch, but I'm not sure. I think he's the head rancher. Back and ranch is not far from here. Let's pay him, pay him a visit. Okay. a lot of alpacas still. Uh, we know the head ledger could be here somewhere. Mangle with the ranch hands to keep an eye on things. Can't tell you which one he is, though. You can't. Often mentions his favorite pungent subject. Um, can't resist a profitable trade, though who among us could? Am I right? Uh, still, uh, if you bring him a very good deal, you might let his identity slip. 
Healy can't ignore it, no problem at all. Okay, well, maybe one problem. I don't think my purse is deep enough to pay everyone we think might be Tobley. Let's ask some questions first to narrow down the field. Get back here and share our impressions. Okay. I'm obviously not Tobley. I mean, oops. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> You're meant to find out for yourself who Tobley is. Or if an elector is even in the village at all. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> uh, visitor from across the salt, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, be warned, the alpacas uh, will spit if you startle them. I suggest you keep your movements slow and deliberate. Okay. I mean, that might be it. But okay, I think I might be Tobley. <laughs> well, maybe I am. All I will say is that in this village, uh, none have reared more alpacas than I. Uh. My Tobley? Yes, yes, that's me. Excellent work from the Third Promise and her entourage sharp instincts. Shall we commence the reign of succession then? Uh, I don't think it's you. Um, might be Mablu, but... I... Oh, okay, can't be. Um... I think it's the Diligent Ranch Hand, but I don't know. I literally don't know, and I don't think it matters what I pick here. So intent on stable chores. I had my eye on that one, too. Time to rip the mask off our mysterious Ranch Hand, so to speak. I don't, I don't know if it was right or not, but I don't really care. Okay, um... An offer I gladly accept. Guess correctly. Oh, okay. Head ledger and head rancher of the ranch. Uh, I'm also one of Ghoul Judge Us chosen electors. Oh, okay. In a place featuring the saga, just like we thought. Right to trust your instincts. Wager it won't be the last time. Okay, well, that makes one of us. Ah, uh, she found you out uh, fair and square, Tobley. I'm glad she did. Would have been a pity uh, had her bid ended here. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Deducing the Don Servant's elector was the first step of defeat. Too simple a task for this aspiring ruler, eh? Okay. Right. Not hard at all. <laughs> oh. There's the first son, or the uh, resilient son, first promise. Zorolja. I am told the head ledger, Tobli, is to be found here. You have to guess which one of us is Tobley. Oh, gave it away. You are Tobley. Without even asking a single question. Very impressive indeed. Without a musing prologue out of the way, we can proceed to the actual challenge. Per the Don Servant's instructions, I was free to devise any manner of feat. I considered the number of possibilities in the tenth column. But I think I have a good one. Oh.
You must go forth and capture for me an alpaca. Well, <laughs> well, we give up. <laughs> While I've not had the best experiences with alpacas, aren't they generally docile creatures? That doesn't sound like much of a challenge. <laughs> Bring out the example! Uh-oh. -uh. This is a special kind of alpaca. Would you please approach the animal, Third Promise? Uh-oh. Who? Me? Well, it should stay calm if I stay calm, right? <laughs> ah! The little monster spat on me! Ah, uh, all of its stink. I can't. <gasps> oh, wow, okay. Alpacas are paradoxical creatures, being both extremely curious and extremely cowardly. Okay. Press your luck when they're frightened, and you'll get a face full of spit. Has an awful stench, their expectoration. The globs contain half digested food, you see, making it an effective deterrent against perceived threats. Wild valley breeds like this one are especially timid and can therefore be quick to lash out. <laughs> They're also especially hardy. Indeed. We take the rugged wild alpacas and breed them with our gentle domesticated stock. This produces the strong but beatable pack animals prized by our traveling merchants. <sighs> 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 That's all well and good, but did I need to bathe an alpaca spit for you to make your point? <laughs> so, yes. The task is to catch a wild alpaca. That is correct, but be warned that it is a feat easier said than done. I suggest you prepare well before you enter the valley where the creatures dwell. And by you, I mean the claimants only. Allies are not permitted to assist with the catching. Oh, huh. Okay. Well, the bye. will help me judge which of you is worthy of receiving a keystone. So I'm to chase down a fluffy, spitting demon, and that somehow proves I'm fit. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, the Dawn Servant granted me the freedom to decide my challenge. And when you reach the end of the right, I dare say you will understand why I chose what I chose. Huh. Very well. This won't take long. Wait! Didn't I warn you this was easier said than done? There are preparations to be made, factors to consider. A beast is a beast. All yield to strength. Well. So far this experience has done absolutely nothing to improve my opinion of alpacas. Don't look at me. <laughs> this is your problem. I, mean I can't do this. Revolting spit aside. They're just another animal. Are you all right, Oclamart? We thought we heard you scream. The third promise does not scream. It was more of a startled yelp 
<laughs> uh, scream, in other words. <clears throat> did you find the Elector? Uh-huh. Oh, we certainly did. Yeah, go have fun, lady. Yeah, I'm gonna go have some tacos. Let me know how it turns out. Wash the mess of my face. Think I've got all of it. Mind taking a sniff for me just to make sure it's ruined my sense of smell. Nah, you're good. Yeah, I saw that look. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that she helped demonstrate. Uh, Valley alpacas are wary of people. Getting close enough to catch one will not be an easy task. Uh, you might have warned me about that earlier. I've had enough trouble with tame alpacas. How do you expect me to wrangle a wild one? Don't look at me. That's your problem now. With a proper saddle, we infuse the leather with a relaxing scent that soothes the spitting beast. Give me one of those then. <laughs> Yeah, have you perhaps forgotten we are a clan of merchants? If you want a taming saddle, then you'll need to find a saddler and make make them an offer. They don't come cheap, of course. Uh, crafting a saddle will cost you the equivalent of 10 pill in the thousands column. 10,000 pill? I don't know that kind of coin. Burning to gill, it comes... Comes to around a million or so, perhaps, if we all pitch in. Jeez! It's highway robbery! My, my, turns out my Ferengi analogy wasn't too far off. These guys are assholes! I feel right about having others pay the cost. I'll find the money somehow. <laughs> In that case, what, what did he... Basket of wool is worth the sum you paid me earlier. One pill in the hundreds column. Uh, beginning with the wool, you can trade forever more valuable goods until you have something suitable to bargain with the saddle for. That's a nice gesture. But you think I can turn a hundred pill into a million? That's ten thousand times more. We need 10,000 Pell, not a million, so we're looking at a hundred times more. Oh, right, I panicked and get confused with Alphino's million gill. Okay, this seems complicated. Not sure about the trading idea, you were almost talked into buying a cloak you didn't even need moments before we arrived. But I just, God, I hate it when you're right. Uh, let me help you with your deal making. Uh,. Oh, hello again. Uh, you never actually introduced yourself. Ma Blue, I work here as a ranch hand, but I've also learned a lot about peddler's profession. If I aid them, yes. Uh, I guided the claimants towards the first step of the feat, like you asked. As long as Buklamat goes alone to capture her alpaca, she is free to accept assistance from whoever she likes. Ray, uh, let's see about getting you that saddle then, third promise. I don't know. Why you made your offer, but I could use any ally with a beak for bargains. All aboard, Mablu. Oh, welcome aboard, Mablu. I'm sure the rest of us stay behind, perhaps. It may be easier to haggle over prices without so many voices chiming in. Stay here and pitch in uh, with the ranch work. With Mablu gone, need the extra hands to tend to the alpacas. Gladly. I think you should go with Wuklamot. No! I don't care! <laughs> In that case, uh, uh, you should hold on to the alpaca wool. If I've misplaced or soiled... Oh, if it's misplaced or soiled in some way, you'll have nothing to bargain with. Oh, okay. As if I do such a thing, but I'll leave the wool with Zavira anyway. Uh, I better keep my hands free. Okay. Uh, I suggest we try trading the wool to Havli the Saddler. He won't agree. 
Uh, he won't agree to the deal, of course, but it'll give us an idea of how much he'll accept for his wares. Okay. I don't like this. We're trading with Ferengi. Yeah. Luckily, I have no firstborn, so... Or, unluckily, I have no firstborn, because that would make this an easy trade. Uh, okay. Hey, buddy. Something I can do for you. Come to bargain. I need one of your special taming saddles to catch a wild alpaca. Saddle it is. And how much will you be paying for it? Uh, with his basket of fine alpaca wool. What use does a saddle maker have for wool besides this would barely cover the cost of a single uh, strap buckle? Offer me something I actually want. Okay. What might that be? Mezcal, I like to nurse a cup at day's end while I inspect my finished work. Bring me a jug of quality stuff and you've got yourself a deal. This bodes well for us, third promise. Such mezcal can only uh, be had for five pell in the thousand column. Okay. Did you say third promise and my offer has changed? Cost you a jug of... Premium Mezcal aged three years at least. Stuff's valued 10,000 pill or more. Why have you doubled the price? I must support the man of ambition who will see my business prosper. Zoral Jaw uh, will go to war and his cavalry will need saddles. Lots of saddles. It's nothing personal, third promise, but I won't sell you my crash for anything less than my asking price. Cool. Can I skin him now? Conniving bastard. Can't say that I blame him. I'm known for championing peace, and peace is unlikely to bring in more customers. Uh, those of our grandparents' generation remember the dark, uh, the dark days when the clans were at war. Uh, many of these Pelu pray for your victory, Wuklamat. The younger ones, though, uh, to them, strife and bloodshed are children's stories. They think themselves safe uh, from these horrors and take the peace we now enjoy for granted. Yeah. Still others are unsatisfied with the, uh, the quiet prosperity and crave uh, the future, the second promise and visions. They've become obsessed with innovations like the dirigibles uh, that have made trade swift and easy. Uh, then you have those like Havali, convinced that the first promise's plan for conquest will afford them opportunities for great profit. I hate to tell you this, but the people uh, you conquer aren't generally super keen on trading with you. Um... What about you, Moglu? Aren't you one of the younger generation? At least a year or two younger than me, I'd say. Oh, I was raised on the old tales. I've, memor I've memorized the accounts of what it was like when the Yukoi ruled their village. That's why I offered to help. I want you to become Dawn Servant to keep our nation from going back to the way it was. That's, yeah. Then I guess I better make sure I win the contest. Uh, but the type of mezcal the saddle maker wants is so very expensive. Weren't we expecting to need 10,000 pell from the outset? Nothing's changed. We just need to get on with it. May have a, I may not have a head for trade or the stomach for alpacas, but I won't give up uh, with a piece of tulio all on the line. Neither will we. Uh, only... Aiming for the jug will only net us failures. Let's first try and exchange the wool for anything, even a touch more valuable. Okay. Just to find someone who actually, yeah, who needs alpaca wool and is willing to trade for the law. Trade at a loss to acquire it. Someone who supports your bid for the throne, for instance.
the Weaver, well, Nock was his name, I believe, went on his way, said he agreed with my vision, sure to buy wool. I remember the direction he was going, but for now, let's head back to the road where we first met him. Okay. On the bicycle! I also love the fact that I'm like, okay, could I just, you know, I could just solve this problem with, you know, I have a thousand gil in my pocket. Or sorry, I have a million gil in my pocket. Probably heading to the Kulvo's Inn. Most visitors end up staying there, so we go check it out. Okay. Okay. Can I have that basket? Sure. See if we can't turn a profit. Might I ask what this is about? Lot dump. Turn a basket of wool into a jug of three year old premium mezcal. <laughs> okay. To invest in your efforts. Okay. Decent Toral is what allows me to cross freely uh, into the lands of my suppliers. Uh, naturally, I would prefer uh, that when pledged to preserve uh, that peace wins the throne. Thus do I humbly awful offer you this wool poncho, a small token uh, that I pray contributes to your victory. Okay. Easily fetch uh, 500 pell. Okay, that's better. Promise we won't let you down. Okay. Have every faith in you, third promise. Fortune bless you. Okay, but uh, yeah, we, we need like you know, like it's more than 20 times that. You quintupled your investment with your first deal. We're off to a spectacular start. Remember our weaver friend, all I did was hand over the wool. Not true. Uh, the connections you built with people are, or you build with people are vital. This is one of the most fundamental uh, precepts of trading, one which, you, which uh, you've instinctively mastered. Oh, that, you, you think so? Yeah, it's like the fourth rule of acquisition or something like that. No, so let's take our poncho trader for something else even more valuable. Take the poncho if I lost it somehow, Aaron Bale would never let me hear the end of it. Cool, I now have a poncho. Next deal is waiting to be found. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing these quests until I don't have to do them anymore. Like, I'm. <laughs> this isn't engaging. Now, strategy, we also consider supply and demand. An individual in urgent need of a good poncho will offer more than a merchant simply looking to stock his shelves. That makes sense. But how do we know if someone needs a poncho? I mean, they aren't wearing one. Like, I don't know. I'm just going to pick that one. Like,. Like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not engaged by this plot line. For a person without a poncho, I hope they're eager to buy ours. There you go. Find demand for our supply. Number of places we could do worse than starting right here at the end. There might be interested travelers. Okay. Uh, those are probably Landsguards or Selsaurs. Mumblejaw, uh, whose soldier 
They may prefer not to wear much at the waist. It hampers their movement. So if they have bared shoulders, my mom, uh, Jack carrying arms can be struck off the list. Okay, he literally has a poncho. Um, I can't see. Um, I can't tell if that one's got a weapon or not. Uh, that one does. And I think that one does. So we're going to talk to him. Oh, but also no weapons. We might have a winner. Okay. No choice of mine, believe me. I was attacked by beasts on the way here. Barely escaped with my scales intact. My coat was not so lucky. I'm actually a tool maker from Tuliolo and was dressed quite smartly. All the better uh, to show the Pelu that I am a man uh, who takes pride in his appearance and therefore his work as well. But now look at me. Ah! Blended poncho. As perfect replacement for the coat I lost. Okay, well, uh -huh. part with it if you make a trade for one of your fine tools, perhaps. About this hatchet, crafted it myself, vouch for its quality. Okay. Thousand pell, that's double our money. That's not bad. Wonderful, fine garment is this. Put me equal footing. Um. The eponious owner of Viplu's mate garden, for one. Uh, her field hands use hatchets to harvest the mate. And I thought to impress her with the tool I sold you. No matter. I'll have other wares to sell. Glad I met you. I've already found our next buyer. This mate garden we go. Yes, but it's a fair distance on foot. We should take alpacas. <laughs> One of the comm types, right? I don't know. You're the one with the problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm uh, I guess before we leave, may as well, uh, waste my time and grab this, uh, ether current. Yeah, I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I don't really care about them, so unless uh, unless the game forces me to get, you know, if, unless it tells me, like, hey, you need flying for this, um, I'm not doing it. Um, uh, tool major, Toolmaker was a potential customer. Uh, if you have a mind to change protect professions, you make an excellent merchant. Go away. Uh, uh, before we get moving... Oh yeah, give me the uh, give me the keys, Magoo. And then the alpacas, okay. Yeah, go for it. To the meat fields we go. Please don't spit. Please don't spit. Be fine. These ones are accustomed to people. I still don't trust them. Okay. Knack for riding, no matter what you say. That our alpaca friends, we pillow would never have become traveling merchants. Can you imagine walking all the way across Sorol? That's fair. The mountain is really tall. Yeah, that one is too. Where rooks and more. Promoting sight, isn't it? I've never. One I've never appreciated. Up close. Uh, take a long way around the cliffs to get there to the highlands belonging to the Yukoi. Oh, so they're still around. They just don't, you know, they just don't really associate with people. Uh, learning about peddler profession. You don't care for ranch work. No, uh, no, no, I love it. I love working with alpacas. 
Kedler has always been a dream of mine. Okay, it's another free uh, location. Not sure I have the talent for it. I can help you buy the taming saddle, though. Then be proof that I can do... Uh, so in that case, you'd best get ready to be a merchant. Noto Cactuar? What? Yeah, Noto Cactuar. Okay. Oh, well, there's another uh, ether current. Well, a single smelly incident. Uh, I sent the alpacas back to the inn, so we'll walk along the main road and return to the village. Speaking of roads to travel, uh, you were adopted by the Dawn Servant, weren't you? That I was. Perhaps you understand. I was an orphan too, you see. Tobley took me in. Uh, uh, he took in all the ranch hands, actually. All of them. Yes. Uh, and everyone works hard at their chores, grateful for the opportunity to repay the head ledger's generosity. Yet here I am, the only one wanting to go off and be a merchant. I don't really think that's necessarily a problem. Telling you this. Uh, it's mate harvesting season. They can't have uh, too many quality hatchets. Add to that mutt's way with people. No trouble making a favorable deal. Smith blew herself over there, passed the hatchet to Third Promise, and let's get to bargaining. Okay, unless one of these is a really big jump in price, like, we're gonna need, uh, you know, we're gonna have a lot more steps to get this to the 10,000 we need. That's my whist. That's a whistle I have for some reason. I don't know why, and you know what? I'm not going to figure it out. One of the fields. I have a mind to trade if you're interested. Third promise might be convinced to entertain a proposal. What do you have to offer? Patch it. Uh, forged by a seasoned artist in the razor sharp edge. This exceptional tool make light work of your crops. Quality is acceptable, I suppose. I'll offer you a sack of mate leaves in exchange. Well, in the thousand column is the same price as the hatchet. Uh, does not the demand for hatchets afford a higher value? Ample batch of tools as well in advance. The window for demand. In that case, we'll have to fall back on connections. Okay. I do not wish to be offense, but I must tell you that I stand uh, with the second promise. His innovations uh, will improve every aspect of our lives, I believe, including farming. I will no longer, and I will no longer have need of hatchets. And I assure you that I have nothing but respect for Wiklamot. That is why I prepared to purchase a spare hatchet for a fair price. Give me a reason. So I've no better for, from this transaction. Bring in your harvest. Until Kona's reforms come in, I can always use more hands in the fields. Go ahead and add our labor to the bargain. But I've forgotten one of the most basic rules of trading. I'm helping too. Hang on a second, how did I get roped up into this? I came, to, I came to watch this failure of a trading expedition. I didn't come here to get roped and have harvesting. I don't even... What are we harvesting? Mate leaves. Not 100% sure what these are actually supposed to be. Like the... Uh, like a real world equivalent, but... You know, but whatever.
Okay. I mean, I also came here to watch uh, Oklamot get spit on by an alpaca, but... Because that's always fun. <laughs> Oh, burn me. There we go. We'll harvest your companion's fair before I make judgment. Oh. Chair as well. Hold up your end of the bargain. Price of the hatchet. Full sack of highest quality, highest quality mate leaves. Okay. Five pell in the thousand column. Okay. They talk weird. I'll give it a good home. Uh... Talk of the contest aside, I'm glad we could come to a mutually agreeable trade. Semai, so all the best with the rest of your harvest. Okay, so that went from one to a thousand. So now, or sorry, one thousand to five thousand. As I was saying before, even after ev everything Tobley's done for me, I'm now planning to abandon it all and become a merchant. But then I needed your help uh, after forgetting the basic rule of trade. How can I expect uh, Tobley to accept my decision then? Yeah, have you even mentioned you plan to leave? Like, not exactly. I wanted to prove... I could succeed as a peddler before I declared my intentions. I seek to follow in my father's footsteps, but not because he expects it of me. I wanted to preserve Tural's peace, and becoming Dawn's servant uh, happens to be the best way to do it. Uh, you should live a life of your own choosing. Wouldn't surprise if Tobley had the same opinions. Uh, find out for sure. It's better to find out for sure than to worry over what he might say. Thank you for the advice. First, we have to saddle. We have a saddle to buy. And I want a success under my belt so I can be sure of my decision. What's next? Trade our tea leaves for something halfway to 10,000 pill. No, I think we're close enough now. I say we go straight to the premium mezcal. Double the value. Think you can do it. Trust me. Make trade work. Um, holding your own against such strong competition for the throne. <laughs> Ooh. Am I really holding my own against uh, Kona and Sorolja? I mean, of course I am. I am Wuklamot of the Dawn's Promise, after all. You are very arrogant, yeah. Top grade mate leaves. Okay. Premium deal. Okay. Thank you. Mezcal distillery. Okay. Okay, so where are we off to? Okay, I'm just going to teleport. It's faster and it's 70 gil. We can, uh, we can just do that. Man named Gobbly, even among his fellow distillers, he's regarded as a master of his craft, knows the value of this product, of his product. Uh, so if we're going to convince him to trade for twice what the leaves are worth, we're going to need targeted information. That means asking around for gossip. 
people at the distillery, perhaps Plumac could do the same at the village entrance. North side, see what we can learn. Okay, what are we? Wait. Okay. I'm asking about Gobbly? Okay, why? Say about Gobbly, I can tell you that Gobbly's been saying the other day he was muttering about monsters prowling around a cave jaws. That's the field where they gather the ingredients. Uh, the presence has made it harder to procure ingredients. Even up the price of his goods, a boon, some might argue, but it's hard to celebrate when it affects the work. Oh. Oh, as it does. Can't really bring joy to people. Okay. So we're gonna go kill some monsters. Okay. Uh, but he's got no sense when it comes to appearances. Rumor has that he's been invited to the palace for business negotiations. If he presents himself to the court wearing his usually rumpled attire, though, he'll be laughed at a sun perch. Chef from Tuliola, I like him. The pie, Gobbly's Mez, called the finest in Tyrell, according to my customers. Always brings out a jug during our dealings, but I can't handle the stuff too well myself. I take small sips, not wanting to be impolite, you understand, uh, but still end up so addled as to agree to whatever price he quotes. Uh, it would be nice to have less uh, potent refreshments during such a conversation, else I might have to seriously reconsider our arrangement. Hmm. Uh, where am I going here? Going is the gemstone trader. Pack of fillet. Okay. Something some sort of pineapple. Huh. Guessing that's a cooking ingredient? Silver lobo hide. Okay. Found out where Gobbly is working. Uh, there's a millstone at the top of the slope behind the distillery. Go on ahead and bring Wuklamot with me. Okay. Uh, so I'm going up here. My uh, jump button will work. This is with me, madam. Why don't we talk down below so as not to distract the alpacas from their work? Okay. It's all about keep it brief, if you would. I'm a busy man. The market for a three-year-old jug of premium mezcal, assuming you have one on hand, that is. Ah, an excellent choice, but I must warn you, it doesn't come cheap. Well, but we can offer a sack of mate leaves in exchange. It's top grade stuff. No deal, mate leaves are well and good, but I don't have any use for them. No deal, just like that? I hate to send you away empty-handed. Why don't we sit and chat a while over a cup of mez? Which of our cards do you want to play first? Um, let's hold on to that one. We need to consider our timing. I guess that one? Like, if you're going to just make one of them the right answer. Like... Your hospitality, but I'm afraid I can't hold my drink. I've heard one of your regular customers, okay, chef, is the same. Uh, seeing as not everyone can enjoy mezcal, I wonder if you might benefit from having other refreshments to offer. Something like meat tea, for instance, and brewed from the finest leaves, of course. You're right. Absolutely right. I had 
noticed a growing reluctance on the part of my a Obigo friend, but I didn't realize I myself was to blame. I must endeavor to be a better host. Uh, still, even with that added value in mind, no sack of leaves is worth the mezcal you're after. Okay. Uh, when the contest is decided, the subsequent ascension ceremony and banquet will be a prestigious affair. If your mezcal call will, were to be served there, it would bring your distillery a measurable fame. Wait, could it be that your rumored invitation to the palace is to discuss that very possibility? As a matter of fact, yes, I must admit, I'm still reeling uh, from the abruptness of it all. Uh, it would be a great honor and opportunity if I can secure the deal. I think your exceptional would speak for itself. That said... Uh, there's no such thing as being too prepared, and first impressions last. I, uh, you'd want to be wearing your very best when you walk into Balaxunas. Be ashamed to miss the chance, the chance of a lifetime simply for wanting for proper garments. Whoa! Shots fired! <laughs> Are you saying you have the garments to offer something ideal for court? No garments on hand, I'm afraid, but we can provide you the next best thing. An introduction to a weaver. His name is uh, Bald Knock, and his work are high regard in Tuliolol. Ah, okay. Supporter of Wukulmat and keen observer of palace politics, he will, no he will doubtless be happy to guide you in selection of an outfit. Uh... To fit his go this golden occasion, that is certainly a tempting proposal and one which I should take. Uh, should like to take full advantage of. The scales aren't quite balanced yet. Okay, can I go kill stuff now? Yeah. Monsters running amok. It's a problem we could easily solve for you. Truly, most grateful for the immediate assistance. I was referring to hiring cell swords, factoring in uh, that saved expense. And an introduction to a trust, trusted weaver. Shaping up to be a sound bargain. Alright, you have a deal. Woohoo! Okay, I can go kill stuff now. <laughs> Meantime, I use the time to pen an introductory letter to Bull... Uh, Bull Knock. Looking for a just north, be safe. Okay. I'm gonna go knock on some... Wait, what are we killing? I don't think we got told what uh, what type of monsters they were. <laughs> now that I uh uh oh north this way okay uh okay. Mm. Okay. That should be a ga a gav jaws just over there. This will go faster if we split up. Come and find me when you've killed your share. Okay. Yeah. Bloodthirsty alpacas. Oh, you are very close to me, sir. Kind of wondering what kind of animals we would be killing, but giant bugs, I guess. Hmm. Oh, another one. Yeah, 
go. Didn't have the uh, the other proc ready, so oh well. Okay. Last one. Okay, almost. There we go. Okay, how you doing? Uh, compared to the creatures I hunted with Papa, this was no challenge at all. Back to the distillery, all that's left is skip map, blew the sack of leaves, and we can seal the deal. Okay. Alright, back we go. Okay, I think they updated the, uh, animation for the motorcycle. I don't know if that's true, though. It could be just, like, a feeling. It just feels like it's more, uh, you know, it's got more, like, sway to it now, but to be honest, I don't know if I ever just paid enough attention to it. Or, like, even subtle movements, you can see the bike tilt. Uh, here we are. There we go. No trouble for you, it seems. Could have a sack of leaves. There we go. Yeah, for our precious trading goods. Lots of problem resolved. The mate leaves a written introduction as agreed. <clears throat> Jug a premium as okay. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go get crunk. Especially you, my blue. Uh, when you inspired me to come this far, third promise. But let's not celebrate until we have the saddle in hand. Uh, you drive a hard bargain, young peddler. I look forward to doing business with you in the future. Truth be told, I'm just a ranch hand for now. Uh, should I ever become a proper merchant, though, I'll be back to strike even more deals with you. Okay, let's go get that saddle. Trade it up two times. Okay. Oh, more die. Even at the palace. Okay. And if we dropped it and had to start all over again, lucky at least place is not far. We just need to cross the plaza. Don't even. Priest, all right, time to make our deal. Watch him break it. So it's ready, Saddler. We brought your precious mezcal. You actually got your hands on a jug, but you had nothing. A few measly clumps of wool. We had was an aspiring trader with a gift for negotiation. Sooner no aid, I'd sooner aid no claimant but Zeralja. I cannot go against the guiding principles of the Pelu Pelu. Trade is a fair one. I'll craft your saddle, third promise. Okay. Uh, stay and wait if you like. I have all the requisite materials, so this won't take long. Okay. I give him credit for that, at least.
Mission is ready. Catching a wild alpaca is never a simple affair, but you'll have an easier time with one of my saddles. Now, nah, if you don't mind, I have other work that needs finishing. Ah, I can taste that smooth mezcal already. Okay. <laughs> okay. Apparently, this guy's a bit of a drunk. Saddle is ours. Okay. Started with only 100 pill. Uh, basket of a pack of wool. I think you you are going to be an incredible merchant. So glad to hear you say that. Game four, let's return to the ranch. The others will be happy. Taming saddle. Okay. Now I get to watch someone else fail at taming an alpaca. It'll be great. Because I remember him saying, I don't get the help for this part. Which is fine by me. Hey all, how you doing? Fired the saddle then. Thanks, no small part to Moblu. Where you rush off and catch an alpaca, though, let me teach you how to saddle one. I'll bring out one of our wild-born friends so you can practice. Yeah, this is all you, lady. Don't look at me. <laughs> I know, I know. Something I need to learn. Yup. Sunken gods, I did it. Uh, he hardly seemed bothered, much less inclined to spit, as if he was completely accepting of Uplamot's touch. It's because of the singular scent of which the saddle has been coated. Alpacas find it very soothing. Oh, okay. I've never taken a good long look at one uh, at one of you before, but you're actually kind of cute. Ah, you're only noticing that now. So roll jaw, he's back. What in the? Then exactly what he set out to do. That alpaca he brought her. Is that me or is, is that just me or is it glowing? Tales is such a beast. They say golden alpaca lives in solitary existence deep in the valley where it shuns the company of both man and its own kind. What in the? I didn't even manage to snare a prize like that. Beast knows it's better, is faced with overwhelming strength that yielded rather than risk death. An apt illustration of how greatly the power of the first promise exceeds yours, Wulamot. Wow! <laughs> strength alone won't win him our father's throne. I'll be the one to find the Golden City, and then Tyral can remain at peace. An everlasting desire for peace can only be forged in the Fire's War. Wow! To unite as one, the people must be taught. They must suffer the horror and the hopelessness firsthand. Exhaustion from prolonged conflict. Uh, the wages of war merciless, uh, war's merciless nature. These are what moved uh, the clans to join in the founding of Tuliola all those years ago. Consider... The younger generation of this village, since birth, they have basked in unbroken harmony. And behold, they regard war not as tragedy, but as opportunity. Thus does resilient son seek to provide education. He offers much-needed lessons in the realities of conquest and renewed appreciation for peacetime. Ooh. 
Tis true that a war's misery breeds a longing for peace. What I have seen with my own eyes becomes of an empire forged through the violence you propose, the rebellions it spawns, and the ruins it lefts, it, it's left behind. The Garlean Empire was a conglomerate, conglomeration of simpletons. The oppressed fought back against their oppressors, as well they should. Men are not beasts. Only a fool would seek to rule over all with the threat of force alone. This is why uh, Gulul Jaja did not elevate the Mamul Ja, why he treated all clans with equal respect. However, well, first promise has his gaze fixed on a more distant horizon. He would unite not only Tuliola, but the star in its entirety. What? Why? I need not explain myself to you. Oh, well done. Well, indeed. First promise has completed the feat of gold uh, with an appropriate golden flourish. May I present you with much-deserved keystone. It's always been like that. Never sharing his innermost thoughts with me or even with Kona. It's like we're not even family. I mean, Kryle did mention uh, the last time I played that um, his inner thoughts were, like, terrible. <laughs> so, hey, go catch, your, go catch your alpaca so we can get out of here. I have my saddle, practiced how to use it, so lead on to where the wild alpacas roam. Uh, northwest of here, come on everyone, even if we can't enter ourselves, we can see her on her hunt. Yeah, go for it. Uh, okay, how far am I going? Okay. On oh, the motorcycle! Right? Yeah, around the corner here and... Yeah. Arb Mall? This I know I can cheer on with Klamashi Marshall's courage. Okay. Uh, mm. Where are you? There we go. Okay. Go for it. Good luck, there, Promies. Thanks. I'll need it. Truth be told, still not sure about alpacas. I'd rather not go near one if I can help it. But if I'm to rule this nation, then I'll need to learn how to live with them. Tural is their home too. Right. I'm off. And she was never heard from again. All right, story's over, everybody. <laughs> so, shall we head back to the ranch, or...? I'll stay here. As will I. Wuklamart is alone in this. The least we can do is stand watch and await her return. Interesting, we haven't seen Kona or, um... Or the, uh, the two-headed simpleton this time, either. Might be a while yet. Help me pitch the tent. <laughs> Aaron Vale's got the right idea. Jeez. We need to pop up the SpongeBob meme of like three weeks later. 
Oh, jeez, it is nighttime. Oh, God. Trust a gleaner to come prepared for anything. What's a gleaner? Someone whose job it is to travel the world and procure uncommon things for their employers. Erinville specializes in finding animals, I believe. But aren't you a Shitona from Shaktural? Why did you cross the salt? When I was much younger, the thought of leaving Tural never even occurred to me. But then, some years ago, my mentor tasked me with a difficult hunt. Something I could never find, she said, so long as I clung to the familiar. She suggested that I leave home, leave Tural, and join the cleaners of Charlian. Okay. As one of their number, I could experience the world, immerse myself in myriad cultures and customs, see the many faces of nature. And once I had learned what is truly important, I would find that which I seek. All right. Um, was she a little, you know, she could, could she be a little more cryptic as to what she sent you to hunt or, you know? My younger self took those words to heart. And off I went to become a cleaner. Her words alone moved you to leave behind everything you'd ever known? You must have great respect for your mentor. Or not much attachment to uh, the place you're leaving behind. As it happens, cleaner work was much to my liking. And I all but forgot why I had pursued it in the first place. Yeah. Yet, events conspired to put me back on the trail I'd abandoned. Wait. Are you saying you were tasked with finding this city of gold? Yeah, but that's not an animal. I was. And though my hunt is now entangled with the right of succession, I mean to see it through. Oh, okay. Well then, I understand completely. We all have our reasons for seeking the Golden City. Which is all the more reason for us to work together. <laughs> Just so. Okay. Yeah, one of these weeks, Wiklamon will come back and, uh, you know, find us that alpaca. Oh, good lord, it's morning. She should have been back by now. Wait. Do you hear that? Cool, let's get the peace and go. <laughs> You're utterly spent in small wonder. Well done, third promise. The ranch isn't going anywhere. Take a rest in the tent. I think I will. Thank you all for believing in me. All right, who had their, who, who, yeah, who, who, uh, who placed their bets on, uh, you know, an entire day to get it done? Who, who was that? <laughs> get back to us safely. Ice blue. Ooh. Okay. Unsteady on her feet, hardly surprising after she spent all night chasing alpacas, you know. Will melt away fatigue like that, though. Mate tea. Run to the ranch, get a pot brewing. Well, you can take your time and the tea will be ready when you arrive. So wisely suggested, set a slower pace for our exhausted third promise. 
I'm getting on my motorcycle. You guys can walk if you want. <laughs> yeah, sorry, suckers. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Okay, so I guess after this we go back to the main city, I guess, again? But I'm not sure where we'll go after that. At least I think we will? See, this is where I'm a little confused, I won't lie. Get back ahead of the others. Hurry along with the T, can't be that far behind. Yeah, whatever, go for it. <laughs> really magical to feel better. Comfortable around our fuzzy friends. Watching this one taught me a lot about alpacas, what grasses and fruits they eat, uh, what sounds they react to, their adorable little quirks. I've grown kind of fond of them. I'm back, third promise. Accomplish the feat of gold, have you? No mistaking the valley alpaca. Commend you on your success. Well done. Yeah, we did it. Couldn't find a shiny one like Zoral Judd did. Be surprised if you had golden alpacas are born uh, once every few decades. They are elusive solitary creatures that are rarely seen, much less captured, thanks to their innate physical and magical gifts. Only a single other person is known to have caught one before, that being Ghoul Jaja. Ghoul Jaja himself. Papa was chasing alpacas too. My grandfather's stories say. Before the founding of Tuliola, in a time when the mountain giants, the Yuk boy held our people in thrall. Uh, compelled by their overlords, our forebears would ride their alpaca mounts uh, to the highlands to deliver gifts of food and other tributes. Uh, those were wretched days uh, to hear grandfather tell it. Uh, then along came young Gul uh, Gulul Jaja, yet unburdened by the mantle of Dawn Servant. Our people were amazed by this imposing two-headed figure equal to the Yokoi in stature, and puzzled by his entourage of mismatched, mi bleh, entourage of mismatched companions. Ugh, I need to eat some more water. Uh, some trembled in fear, believing a new conqueror had come, yet Gul Jaja showed no such inclination. He sat and spoke with us, sipping from the cups of mate tea we offered him, and grew somber uh, when he learned of our plight. Uh, none could have anticipated what their visitor decided to do next. Gul Jaja ascended the cliffs to face the giants and freed the Pelu Pelu from the Yokoi subjugation. Uh, he then returned oh he then turned an appraising eye upon our riders and proposed we take to the roads to peddle our beverages uh the suggestion seemed obvious for one who traveled as he did intend on fostering amity between the clans so it was uh that with a few words from Kulul jaja transformed us into a clan of itinerant merchants. Cool. Never heard uh, the bond Papa Forge with the Pelu Pelu spoken, spoken of that way before. Uh, the saga's not so detailed. Uh, then you may not know that Gul Jaja sought, uh, sought a sure-footed guide for his trek up to the highlands. Thus did he capture Golden Alpaca. Oh... So both my brother and my father caught the rarest of creatures, while an ordinary one was the best I could manage. Feet required no more 
than that third promise and you brought back a perfectly wonderful beast. Meblu's right, you're a perfectly wonderful beast. If or, if anyone's ordinary, it's me. Ah. Not only did you accomplish the feat of gold, uh, you also made many trades and brought joy to many people through... Uh, I skipped it. I should be proud of your accomplishments, which were you the keystone. Okay. Five more to go. You're all on your way, third promise. Uh, we'd have been lost without you. Uh, Mob Blue, thanks to you, I've learned so much about the Pillow People and your customs. Might seem obvious, but I've come to realize the importance of properly knowing something. Uh, it was because I didn't understand alpacas that I was uncomfortable around them. I'm thankful to you as well, Wuklamai. You've given me the courage to say what I wasn't think I'd ever be able to say. Billy, I want to leave the ranch and become a merchant. I appreciate everything you've done for me, and I've loved every moment uh, caring for the alpacas. This is something I need to do. I need to walk my own path, make my own trades. As your parent, allow me to say one thing. I've always tried to give uh, my wards lives filled with as much happiness as I could provide, yet never once uh, have I wanted that to be the only happiness you knew. Uh, you have my blessing to walk the path you've chosen. Um, gladdens me to hear you found your calling. Uh, you wish to pursue with such passion. You will make an exceptional peddler, I'm sure of it. Thank you, Tobly. What did I tell you, Moblu? One last thing I can help you with their promise. You need to find the Golden City, right? That's the end goal. I suggest you talk to the Yokoi. They once ruled over far more than just, uh, uh, Rock Pacha and the Pelu Pelu. A thousand years ago, they were the overlords of Yoktoral and all its people. During that era, the Pelu Pelu were commanded to search for the city for a city of gold. They scoured every corner of the continent, but never found any trace of that fabled place. But if they didn't find anything, what could the Yukhoi have to tell us? They may not have found it, uh, but the fact that they thought uh, to look for it at all makes me curious. Perhaps there's value in delving into how the legend originated. That's true. We lose nothing by asking the question. Besides, if we're uh, determined to follow the path of the saga, we'll be visiting the giants eventually. Oh, Kryl, I have a question. I have a question I've been meaning to ask you since we'd finished the feat. The feat. Where did you acquire that earring? My earring? Do you recognize it? Yeah, pieces uh, like it first became fashionable, fashionable in Yuktoral around 20 years ago. Since then, it's become common to wear one as a charm for safe travel. Hmm. 20 years ago, right about the time my grandfather made his journey, the Dawn Servant implied this earring was connected to the Golden City in some way. Surely there was more, t more to its significance than simple fashion. You want to know how it first became crafted? I could try to find out, seeing as it's my regular seller. It's a regular seller for many merchants. I'm curious about it myself. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. 
Jumping feet first to the peddler business, eh? Two ski zones down. I said we hit back to Tuliolo and plan our next move. Farewell for now. Thank you for your help. I will come down, servants, so make sure you set aside something or other. Okay. I kind of skipped that, I won't lie. <clears throat> Uh, she's a fearsome opponent, and that brother of hers he even brought a golden alpaca to heal. She heard uh, Zoral Just supporters talk. Uh, they might see opportunity in his expansionist ambitions, but they find the man himself intimidating, terrifying even. Whereas I've grown to love Wuklamot, everyone she meets will come to love her too, and that's why she'll win the throne. You might be right, Ma Blue, you might be right. I'm nervous, though, that uh, First Promise won't really abide by that. And unless uh, Wuklamot can get strong enough to beat um, the other two-headed one, I keep forgetting his name, or their name, however, because there's both of them. Um, however, that gets, you know, put... But uh, I don't think uh, they will uh, abide by that either. Got to have done the feet of gold. Have the feet of gold safely under a belt. Shiny golden alpaca. I know. Shouldn't let it bother me. But gods, uh, gods, no. Uh, you've all been so supportive. I want to be strong, or like, or wise, like my brothers. Promise. Will expect. If I stand carrying on about things, let's move on. Back to where the contest began. Let's just teleport back. Oh, up. Uh, okay. Wait, no, it's not up, down. Okay. Oh, it's up front of the... Yeah. Good us. Contest has barely begun. We've already had two keystones. Surely my talented brothers aren't, <laughs> aren't doing this well. We can only hope. Right? Here to attempt the next feat. Surely that means our approach to the contest was the right one. It would seem so. By continuing to retrace Ghoul Jojo's journey as presented in the saga, we should find the remaining electors in turn. Let's visit the giants next. Like Kryle said, uh, the fact that they were searching for the Golden City might mean they know something useful. Home of the Yukhoi is in the upper reaches of Urkpacha. Unless you're keen on scaling the cliffs, we'll have to take the long way around through Pazama. I'm sure it will take us close to the Moblin village, which is another important location in the saga. Since we'll need all the keystones eventually, it makes sense to pay them a visit while we're passing through. Well, yeah, that makes more sense. Call on Moblins first, okay? I'm afraid right now it's going to be a problem. Oh, right, the, the road. Uh, the flight of We Wingless, uh, the great stairs leading to the Moblin settlement collapsed in the storm. What are we going to do then? We could go there in a dirigible, couldn't we? There is an alternative, but it requires preparation until it's ready. Uh, you could rest at the cabins or see more of the city, whatever you prefer. To be sure, you'll accept any method of travel as long as it gets us to our destination. Forrest, what do you take me for? Hmm. Well, then as your guide, I will see to the arrangements. Okay. <laughs> Have some free time on our hands. Let's make the most of it. <clears throat>
need to get my axe repaired. I nicked the blade pretty badly when I took a swing. Man, I never got to introduce you to Ropley. Did I? Man in charge of... You're making a good person, I know. Sure. All right, let's go. The east side of Bevy's Bay. All right. This is Aunt T's Tacos. Name for its owner here, the lovely Tissol. Uh, T Soul. You're after the best tacos in Yulia. All this place sits atop. Top with uh, something or other. Third promise, but you never eat at old Brevik Ev's food. Oh, you only ever eat. Come and buy mine for a change. It's been a while, hasn't it? I sort of stopped by for a bite once the contest is over. Okay. So we're going this way. Okay. Okay. Mm. I promise I'll I assist you this fine evening. Well, Matt properly, I need to buy. I need to buff a nasty nick out of my axe blade. Yes, it's been chipped quite terribly. Try cleaving rocks. Trying to cleave rocks again, were we? Something like that. Can you fix it? Stand among. Rawls' most prestigious gathering of artisans and ask this question to his child's play. We'll have it repaired for you in two shakes and I'll pack his tail. Good day here. I'll leave it in your capable hands. To your companion, if I may ask, this is a fear, a great adventure I recruited from across the salt. Here to meet you, actually. Uh, though she might have reason to visit some sooner or later. To introduce myself, humble representative. Grand Center of Trade, pleasure to meet you. Okay. You there, stop dithering in the shadows and announce your business already. Hmm. I've seen that man somewhere before. He was on the boat, wasn't he? Yeah. Jewelry maker you met in the voyage over. I remember you spoke to him too. Argentine, yes, that was his name. Been loitering like a flighty admirer who can't pluck up the courage to confess his feelings. Out with it then, why are you here? That is to say, Zoom! Okay. <laughs> ah, we're not closing to solving that enigma. You could use someone to talk to. I say we go and ask. Let me know my link pearl if you find him first. Okay. Alright. Apparently we have to go, uh, you know. Go introduce these two first, I guess. Uh, okay. Um... Okay, so there is a lot of area over here I can check as well. Um...
Doesn't seem to be out this far, which then begs the question, why'd they make the circle this big? Oh, there he is. Master Ropley, but wait, we've met before, haven't we, on the ship? Yep. Hi, buddy. Found him? Good, I'll be right there. To run off like that, do you have business with Ropley or not? You can concern yourself with my affairs. I'm undeserving of such attention. Huh? What are you going on about? Make me explain, do not. Sorry, but the more you tell me not to, the more curious I become. Besides, you look like you need a friend. Too kind, so be it. I suppose I can share with you a morsel of my misery. Worked as a goldsmith in the most prodigious aesthetics. Oh, it started off, but as days passed, everything began to go wrong. Products were lacking, mediocre. I lost all confidence. Crippling doubt possessed me. Okay. Fresh beginning on new shores. Yet, as you witness, I lack the courage to even approach a potential employer. You stand before a man wallowing in the wreckage of his ill-spent existence. Oh, Lord. All right, huh, all right then. You offered a morsel, then served us the full heart. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Really wanted someone to hear your story. If you like, I could try to give you a few words of advice. Experience with my predicament of feeling terribly inadequate compared to your undeniably superior peers. Wow! Shots fired. Well, when you put it that way, I, uh... <laughs> well, Clamat, third promise of Taliola. That's not what he needs to hear there, buddy. Daughter of the Dawn Servant. Of course, you're a member of the royal family. Please forgive my presumptuousness. What have you? Have you ever measured uh, your work against that of your colleagues and found yourself wanting? Yeah. Can I not? Should my work not meet this? The, exact, the same exacting standards, no new commissions uh, will be forthcoming. What then was the point of my becoming a goldsmith? I'm looking back, it was my father who inspired me to take up the trade. His exquisite creations brought radiant smiles to the faces of his clients, and I admired him deeply for it. But in the course of striving to be the gold, uh, as great a goldsmith as him, I lost sight of my original motivation. I ever wanted was to spread joy through my craft as he did. Perhaps, perhaps I will give this one last try. Thank you both for reminding me of what's truly important. Go for it, buddy. What is truly important? I didn't mean to ignore you, but yes, let's see. Give yourself another chance. Okay. Can't help but wonder if Longi Tain will follow through. Let's see if he's actually gone to talk to Ropley. Okay. I'm still not sure why you introduced me to him. Like, you know, not to be that guy, but it was like, okay, cool. I don't know why I'm being introduced to you. Do you sell me things? Like, You know, or is this like the crafting quarter? Like, because it doesn't seem like he sells anything. 
Yeah, it's a script exchange over here. What the hell? Who cares? I have you come, but you needn't worry. I found my courage. Okay. Apologies for my earlier behavior. Goldsmith from Ulda and far away Urzia. Bold request, but I should like to continue practicing my trade here in... I'm going to not bother. Uh, if you'll have me, ask only for the opportunity to bring happiness to others with my creations. That's what this is about. You're looking for work. Seriously, you're hired. Always need a skilled craftsman and women. Uh, I'll handle the necessary paperwork. Can you start tomorrow? Yes, yes, of course. It was only that easy to actually get a job. God... 200 applications to get like one interview something like that i think is the uh, the average now um thank you both again for your sage and timely advice i don't know that i was all that helpful but you were had you not come to speak to me i would not uh have had that moment of much needed self-reflection Arrangements have been made coming at the entrance to the high tide harbor Wait, are we going by boat? You have my axe ready. Ready and waiting. We hold the sublime touch. Okay. Deadly is the first day I held it. Thank you. Okay. I don't know where the little guy put it, but... If Dev creeps back, I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Head to the harbor, wouldn't want to keep Heronville waiting, okay. Okay, we're going by boat? Is that what he was talking about? Is this a big plan of yours? That is my big plan. Uh oh. But what is that? The manatee, I think. Oh no. Um. You knew. T. You're pulling our boat up river. Oh, right, manatee. Well, trash and sink us under instead. They're gentle and timid creatures for the most part. She's unlikely to cause a fuss unless you give her a reason to. First alpacas, now punities. We're relying a lot on animals for this journey. Be thankful uh, we have an animal expert as our guide then. Did it have to be my old nemesis, another boat? <laughs> well, I took you for someone who was up to the challenge. Was I wrong? Oh, jeez. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, long ago when fighting uh, still raged between the clans, the inhabitants of uh, Kazama rode these riverboats to move swiftly through hostile territory, uh, but the vessel ceased little use with uh, Toral now at peace, so I was able to borrow one uh, one of the few still remaining. Okay. I did consider it dirigible, but the pilots warned me oh, that the updrafts near the falls could make landing difficult. Oh, okay, that makes sense then, too. You said borrowed one, yet appears. Uh, yet there appear to be several on the water. 
Don't, uh, right? Oh, I'm guessing everybody's borrowed one. Lama T. Traveling up river, I presume. Same sad way, does that mean you weren't two keystones already? I can't believe uh, how well you've managed despite undertaking the contest alone. No, he's not alone. I was never alone. I've had my own entourage with me since the beginning. Yeah, that's what I said. My friends, it's been, well, not that long. Yep, called it. Hey, Kurt Riange, what are you doing here? Scorting a promise, same as you. Heard much of the incomparable Archons during my time at the studium. As soon as the contest was confirmed, I thought who better to recruit to my cause. I contacted the Skull Arch who arranged an introduction uh, to these two gentlemen. Second Promise has specific requirements. Uh, they who would be his assistants must boast proven survival skills and mastery of the arcane arts. Did Thankard and I receive the summons? My own studies concentrated on technology uh, which our people could readily use, such an invention, uh, such as inventions uh, born of Magitech or clever engineering. Where magic was concerned, I only covered the foundation. Knowing you two, I suspect you had other reasons for accepting the job. A few. The nation of Tuliol also uh, spans an entire continent. Depending on who wins the throne, the world may be plunged into instability once more. Uh, ever have we striven to, uh, to preserve peace? Uh, where is our place, if not here and now? Uh, we did our due diligence, of course, and made sure uh, who we were working with before we agreed to this endeavor. Uh, he's even more opaque than Uriange at times, but is surprisingly... <laughs> That's quite enough of that. We must be on our way. <laughs> ah. Wait, I have one more question before you leave. Kona and Wuklamat are vying for the throne. As Kona's entourage, that means you're resolved. Uh, you've resolved to defeat all his opponents, including us. Uh, we're sworn to do all in our power to win this contest for Kona, even if it means competing against our own comrades. We intend to hold nothing back, and I expect you'll do the same. We won't disappoint you. I thought you were taking a boat. Even if you have been forced to travel on water, uh, oh, if even you have been forced to travel on water, then the others will be doing the same. I would rather walk uh, than risk confrontation on a leaky barge with no possibility of retreat. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. My voice is getting pretty harsh because I ran out of water over an hour ago, I think. It's true that I can't stand boats. <clears throat> But I trust the route Aaronville has chosen for us. <clears throat> uh, leave the handling of the impunity to me. Should other wildlife attack us, however, you may have difficulty keeping her under control. Do your best to draw them away as far from the front of the boat as possible. Oh, so we're... Wait, this is, this is a fight? This is a dungeon? What's, what's going on? Uh... And we shall remain on deck and stand guard, although it may be wise to have at least one of us sit up front with Aaronville just in case. I'd like to stay on the deck, I'm eager to put my pictomancy to proof. <clears throat> and I'll take any chance to show you that I can hold my own on the battlefield, okay? Uh, Kryl, stand on guard with Zephyra, okay? Keep Aaronville company then with my plate. I can respond more quickly to threats than Alphano. Light breaks out. I'll try to stay out of your way. Endeavor to provide aid where it's needed most. And do that as well. Secure your gear, board the board the boat when we're ready. Wait, is this yeah, this is seeming like a trust or a trial dungeon or a dungeon or something.
Yeah. Let the hunt begin. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Hey, what level is this? 91, okay. Oh, uh, I will also, however... Average item level 630. Okay, I'm. I mean, I'm six thirty. <laughs> ah, my item level is awful. Um, all right, but like I said, um, I think this is where I think this is the uh, perfect place for us to leave this for tonight. Um, also, like I said, my uh, uh, my throat is getting extremely sore from uh, all the reading and whatnot. So. Uh, I think this is a perfect place to leave ourselves for next time. So, I want to thank everybody so much for watching, and I hope, like I said last time, that everybody's enjoying the uh, the expansion, or, uh, you know, the uh, have enjoyed the expansion, I guess is a better way to put it. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back next Friday with, uh, yeah, with the new dungeon. And, hell, maybe if I've uh, leveled up enough, I'll even just... Uh, you know, pictomancer it myself. Who knows? All right. Anyways, you all have yourself a good night. And uh, yeah, we will catch you all next week. All right. Have a good one.